Hello and welcome back to Nissin's Accountant's YouTube channel. Today, we're breaking down the key highlights from the recently announced UK Autumn Budget 2024. Chancellor Rachel Reeves has unveiled significant changes that will impact both businesses and taxpayers. Let's dive into what you need to know. The budget introduces substantial changes aimed at boosting economic stability, enhancing public services, and addressing social needs. Here are the main announcements that will affect you. First up, let's talk about national insurance. Effective April 2025, employers will see an increase in their national insurance contributions from 13.8% to 15%. The threshold will also drop from £9,100 to £5,000, which is significant for larger employers. But there's some good news. The employment allowance will rise to £10,500 annually helping offset these increased costs. Plus, the eligibility restriction for businesses with liabilities below £100,000 has been lifted, benefiting larger employers. Moving on to capital gains tax, starting October 2024, the rates will increase. Lower rates will rise from 10% to 18%, while higher rates will increase from 20% to 24%. This change will also affect business asset disposal relief and investors' relief. And for those concerned about inheritance tax, from April 2027, pension wealth will be included, raising an estimated £1.5 billion annually. Adjustments will also affect agricultural property relief and business property relief, capping exemptions at £1 million. Now, let's discuss personal income. Income tax thresholds will be adjusted to align with inflation by 2028-29, keeping more individuals out of higher tax brackets. The national living wage will also rise by 6.7% to £12.21 per hour, benefiting over 3 million workers. The triple lock on state pensions will remain, ensuring increases aligned with the highest of average earnings, inflation, or 2.5%. Plus, the carer's allowance earnings threshold will rise to £196 per week. Big changes are coming for private schools. From January 2025, private school fees will be subject to VAT at the standard 20% rate, expected to raise significant revenue. The charitable rate relief on business rates for private schools will also end in April 2025. The budget also allocates substantial funding for public services. The NHS will receive £22.6 billion for operational costs, and over £6 billion will be invested in education, including rebuilding 500 schools and addressing special educational needs. Infrastructure investments include £5 billion for affordable housing and funding for transport initiatives like HS2. Local councils will retain revenue from council house sales for reinvestment, and £500 million will be allocated for road maintenance. The budget emphasizes green initiatives too. The Warm Homes Initiative will receive £3.4 billion for energy efficiency upgrades, while £1.8 billion is allocated to address fuel poverty. Small businesses in retail, hospitality, and leisure sectors will continue to receive relief up to £110,000 in 2025-26. Additionally, measures to tackle tax avoidance are expected to raise £6.5 billion. Finally, new fiscal rules have been introduced, focusing on debt reduction and ensuring revenues match day-to-day -day spending by 2029. This is aimed at achieving fiscal stability in the long run. In conclusion, the Autumn Budget 2024 sets a transformative agenda with significant implications for both businesses and individuals. At Nassim's Accountants, we're here to help you navigate these changes and understand how they may impact your financial planning. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on financial regulations and business advice. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.